I'm by no means an expert as far as monitoring, but I can tell you that in 11 years, I've learned what it is to be a good site manager and the difference between a site manager and someone who's just merely monitoring. And in this day and age with research and more expectations and responsibilities placed on clinical research associates, this needs to have a philosophy of total site management and total oversight. Today we're going to not only provide a definition of assertiveness, but kind of clarify misconceptions about an assertive nature, at least that I've had. And I'm hoping that this can perhaps lend a more positive element to what it is to truly be assertive. We're going to talk about personality traits that embody assertiveness and should a body embody clinical research associates. Once again, based on my experience managing people, training, and also what I've used to have very positive relationships with sites over 11 year period. I'm going to give you guidelines and best tools and practices with the conduct of site management and oversight and how assertiveness relates to site management, the dynamics, the crucial relationship between the site personnel and the site manager, the monitor, and effective communication. We are going to, this whole presentation was not only grounded in, in tools I've learned and, and what I've learned to do and what not to do over the years, but it also is grounded in implementing the guidelines. ICHE 6 has very clear and delineated instructions on what monitors are expected to do as far as site management and making sure the trial is run effectively and in accordance with the guidelines. And I've provided three examples from ICHE 6 on how assertiveness is crucial to fulfilling the guideline. And then what also I'm going to do is I provided a case scenario regarding a specific issue that happened to me with a site more than once, what the issue is, what is pending, and what can be done towards accomplishment and resolution.